Pavati, animal dependencies. Hi, it's me, Pavati, and this is my pet ferret, Blinks. <laughs> you can't measure itchiness with a ruler, silly. Uh-oh, Blinks, you've got fleas. That's why you're so itchy. That's what fleas look like. But to Blinks, they feel like this. Lots of living things depend on other living things to live. These fleas live by hiding in Blinks' fur and drinking his blood. I want to drink your blood. When one animal depends on another animal like that, it's called dependence. This kind of dependence is good for the fleas, but not so good for Blinks. A living thing that hurts another living thing that it depends on, like those fleas do, is a parasite. The animal that the parasite lives on, like poor Blinks here, is called a host. But there are other kinds of dependents. <laughs> Good idea, Blinks! Look! That bird depends on the tree for a place to live. The bird isn't hurting the tree, but it isn't helping the tree either. I wish I could show you how certain kinds of fish depend on sharks, but I don't think there are any sharks in my backyard. <gasps> oh, or are there? Let's use our imaginations! Those fish are called remoras, and they attach themselves to sharks. When the shark drops bits of food, the remora gets a free meal. How's that for fast food? Remoras don't hurt the shark, but like the bird in the tree, they don't help their host either. Ooh! Follow that bee and you'll see my favorite kind of dependence. Bees like to drink nectar from flowers. That's good for the bee. But when they do that, tiny particles called pollen stick to the bee's legs. When the bee carries the pollen to another flower and drops it there, that flower can start to make seeds, which grow into new plants. And that's good for the plant. They both win. Win-win! <laughs> wow, Blinks! You've got lots of great ideas today. Let's use our imagination again to imagine this crocodile in the river. Would you climb inside a crocodile's mouth? Well, a plover bird would. The crocodile can't floss its teeth, so when food gets stuck, the plover bird plucks it out. The plover depends on the crocodile for food, and the crocodile depends on the plover for clean teeth. They both win! Winner, winner, they both get dinner. What about me and you, Blinks? How do we depend on each other? Does one of us hurt the other? Of course not! Does only one of us get something out of our dependence while the other gets nothing? No way! Or do I give you shelter and food and protection, and you give me friendship and fun? <laughs> yep, that's the one! Win-win! Hmm... Right now, I think Blinks is depending on me to help him with his flea problem. A warm flea bath should do the trick. How does that feel? <laughs> Bye everyone, see you later.